All right, my friends, we are back. Thank you for standing by. And we'll get this uh, switching process taken care of here. Speaking of Doggo Final says, there's a pit bull that keeps getting loose where I live. They cover the hole in the fence. It makes a new hole. Good thing she's friendly. Good thing. I, uh... I like to think that I try very hard to practice empathy, but um, irresponsible dog uh, dog owners are a uh, are a class of individual that I f I do find very distasteful. <laughs> we have a lot of them. We have a lot of we have a lot of them where I live, unfortunately. <sighs> Tactical minefield. <laughs> oh, that's morbid. Designed to, designed to deter intruders. Maim, not kill, Prime Directive says. Uh, some dogs are masterful escape artists. Yeah, I mean... You can't always... Well... You know, there are different degrees of irresponsibility. Okay, I think my mic still works. There's a difference between there's a difference between trying to address a problem and failing and not doing anything. <laughs> uh. All right, uh, this might be really loud. Just a, a heads up, the volume here might be pretty loud for a moment. Or it might be non-existent. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's better. I guess that's the best case scenario. <laughs> Let me just take a moment to resize my uh, windows here. And then we'll get rolling. So this is 50 video games included. This is a little plug and play by Dream Gear. And we have, uh, we're very far along. I've been trying to make it to the end of every game. Now, sometimes the games do have a definitive end. You get to a point where there is an end screen or usually what happens is you get to a point where it just goes back to the title screen. And so you know you've won. <laughs> and so I try to hit those states. There, there's never seems to be, there never seems to be any credits or anything like that. But uh, usually there's something to indicate that you have uh, reached a, a clear ending point. I don't know why we don't have any game audio. I don't know if it's because of something I have done. Oh, we're getting some static. 
It's because the cable in the thing is loose. Well, I would prefer to not have to play the whole night with no audio. That worked. Well, we have audio for now. We'll see how long it lasts. This is what you're missing out on, by the way. <laughs> this song. So, as, as much as possible, as much as possible, I try to get to the end of every one of these games. And we've, uh... We've completed a fair amount of them. Some of them, some of them, I, uh, a, a very few of them I haven't been able to beat because they're just too difficult. <laughs> they give you too few lives and the game goes on for too long and is too hard and I just can't do it. Those are the ones that make me sad. There are a couple that I haven't been able to beat because it seems that the game is broken. And there are a couple that seem endless. But, uh, mostly we've made it, we've made it through most of them. The ones we have completed... Um, Wonder Rabbit, Police vs. Thief, Road Work, Forest Adventure, Rabbit Village, River Jump, um, Death Bomb, Burbles. I don't think I finished Burbles. Burbles or Cannonade. I think I didn't finish one of these two. I don't remember. Uh, Diamond, Island, Mirror Devil World, Police Dog, Deviledom Doom. Water Pipes, Aquarium, Frantic Mouse, Goblet Tower, Halley Who, Lunation, Mad Christmas, Man in Red, Memory Test, Mowing Octopus, Panzer Attack, Burrow Explorer, Pizza Boy, Pobble, Pulveration, RB Chess, Sea Wolf, and Snowball we have completed. The few that I skipped, we haven't. Uh, we're up to Twin Fish, but I think we're actually going to start with the Archer. We played a little bit of this last time. This one seems like it might be beatable, but it's very difficult. So we're, we'll start. We're going to start by revisiting this one. The music is on a loop with this game, but there is a huge gap of silence in it for whatever reason. That hit me. I thought I was far enough to the right. Oh no, the the sound broke again. There it goes. No. I remember why, I'm re I'm remembering why this was so tough now. <laughs> yeah, the the green slime really ruins everything. It's uh the the thing about the green slime is its hitbox persists way longer than its visible sprite.
so you think it's not there anymore, and then you just walk into something that's not, well, you walk into something that isn't there, and you die. I really wish the sound would quit breaking. <laughs> It's a dis it's such a distraction to me. The like, game's hard enough to play even when I can hear the sound. Eventually it's just never going to work at all, right? Then we'll be released. Why 50 video games included? Why? I can't. I can't fix it, my friends. We might have to play a different plug-and-play for a while. Science isn't about lying. What is this? This is 50 video games included, Prime Directive. It's a plug-and-play device we've been working on on the stream for a while. I'm trying to beat all the games in the collection. And I've beaten about 80 to 85% of them. My track record isn't perfect, but I think it's pretty admirable. It's like, uh, it's kind of like Action 52 on the NES. But it's a plug-and-play instead of a cartridge. I mean, it's not the same games, but they're about the same quality as that. Some of them may be a little better, some a little worse. Like the Atari joystick? Uh, kinda... probably the same idea. Half of the Action 52 games reskin are reskins of each other. That's rough. Disappointing. I think so far, I think so far only one game in this collection has been another, has been a reskin of another game in the collection. There's a racing game. Uh, Pobble and Lunation are the same game, but just reskinned. I think that's the only time that's happened. There are a lot of games that are similar because they're like because they're all like Space Invaders ripoffs, but they're not like exact like reskins of each other. I tried to jump over the hat. I swear I was jumping.
sometimes you get good games out of these, like seven. <laughs> some of these some of these games have been some of these games have been pretty alright. Most of them are largely pretty terrible. But that's that's just all part of the magic. The, the terrible games make the great ones even better. And it started off the the problem with the problem with 50 video games included is it started off magnificently. The first game in the collection was just a masterpiece, and after that, I was hooked. <laughs> there was there was no way we were gonna quit after the first after the first game was so wonderful. And then the the couple that they, they the couple that followed it up were pretty good too. They started real strong with this collection. I say that as if I say that as if is if there exists a universe where the first game is completely ho horrible and I don't continue playing <laughs> like I probably would have been I I probably would have been more determined to continue playing if the first game was complete trash <laughs> Yeah, this is the this is a dream gear. This is a dream gear plug and play. Does the SpongeBob plug and play count as retro? I don't see why not. I didn't even have to jump. I jumped. I hit the bird. I think that might have been the best run of this I've ever had. Today slash yesterday was SpongeBob's 25th anniversary, Cow says. SpongeBob is 25 years old? That is unbelievable to me. The first time past level four. I think this game has five levels then. If it has more than five levels, we're not gonna beat it. <laughs> but if I beat if I beat level five, I think I'll consider it done. Because the the boss's health bar was all the way filled up. I think that's gotta be it. It's hard to tell how long any of the games are because uh they're they're inconsistent. Like some of them are just like like you might get one that's one level. Two levels, three levels, 12 levels. We played through one that was 99 levels one night. It took hours. No, it was 98. I'm sorry. It wasn't a massive 99 level game. It was only 98 levels. The thing was, it wasn't even really 98 levels, though. It was four levels that looped. <laughs> What's 98 divided by four? Uh, 20... 6, 20... 26 and a half? Twenty-four and a half? Can't do the math. There's four levels that loop 24 and a half times. Exaggerating for, for clout, Cal says. You know me. You know me. That's what I'm like. 
Always lying about my accomplishments. And too many and a yeah, exactly. You got it. You got it right. Too many and a half. You're like a human calculator. <laughs> that's that's precision. I feel like that might have sounded like I was being sarcastic, but I legitimately love that answer. Because <laughs> uh, that's what it was. Boy, that was the lawn mowing game. That was the lawn mowing game. That's the worst. That's maybe the roughest one we played. No. Well, that there's an army tank game that took me. I think it was it was a shorter game, but it took it was a shorter game by level count. The army tank game, but it took me longer. The levels were uh, the levels were more complicated, and they were all unique. They didn't uh, they didn't loop like uh, the other one did. Of course, it was lawn mowing. <laughs> It was pretty hilarious because the same night we got in a raid from another streamer that said that they were playing uh, Lawnmower Man for the month of Movember. And it was like. It was like they had reached out and cursed me because. <laughs> because very, short, very shortly after I, we received that raid. And that and that and that pun was was mentioned in the chat. I found that lawn mowing game, and then I was stuck on that lawn mowing game for hours. If you watch closely, you'll see that you'll see that nothing. You see, I get killed by nothing all the time, and what I'm dying what I'm dying from is those green spots. Again, like they're the hitbox for the green drops stays active way way after the animation is done with. Yeah, the slime logic is so broken. Zergling says that's what makes this game impossible. Shorthand calculation never steered me wrong. The boss rush genre must be quaking in their boots because of this same boss rush genre made with this game. Uh, the SpongeBob plug and play is the one you've played the most. I don't think I own a SpongeBob plug and play yet. My plug-and-play collection's pretty small. I only have about a dozen plug-and-play devices, and probably at least a quarter of them are non-functional. It's very sad. I'm working, I'm working on building it up, but they're hard to come across. Well, Archer should wear the shoes so his feet don't melt in the slime. <laughs> uh. The Archer looks like Shinobi. I haven't played any of those games yet.
I'm thinking about, so I was saying we're going to start a new game tomorrow. I think we're going to play Darkwing Duck on the NES. I think that's what I want to play. I think that's probably what we're going to do tomorrow night on the stream, by the way. I've never played that game. And it's been on, like, it's been on my mind a lot for a while. So I think, I think that should be the one we start up tomorrow. I don't know, I don't know how massive or difficult that game is. So that's why I'm thinking, like, we, there might be a chance I can make it through that game in one night with some time left. And if I do, we'll play, uh... We'll play Jump King at the end of the stream, but we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. Even if the game isn't difficult or, ma or, or or massively long, there's also always the chance I get obsessed with some challenge or collectible or something, and <laughs> and, and 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 spend the whole night on it anyway. <laughs> I expect I expect uh, I expect it's a game I'm gonna like. I've been I've been burned before, but I'm going in I'm going in with high hopes. Do you see? Do you see what happened to me? The slime the slime fell on that spot hours before. There is no way. There is no way it was still dangerous to walk there. Robbed. The Archer is the most unfair game I've ever played. I don't think it's hitting me before it falls. I think it's hitting, I think the the hitbox is per persisting from the previous fall. That's the way I think it works. Shinobi's hard. Has a built-in dynamic difficulty that gets harder the better you are. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, the poker plug-and-play. Yeah, I come across that Texas Hold'em plug-and-play all the time. That's one. I'm not bothering to buy that because I don't think anyone's going to want to watch me play Texas Hold'em. This game looks familiar, Final says. Sometimes it does. I've seen it, Zergling says. Fair enough. <sighs>
It wouldn't be you know, the thing. The thing that really just drives me up a wall is like the the slime is super broken, and it also insists on only falling on one side of the map. It only falls over here on the left, and you have less freedom of movement over here to begin with. There's a Namco plug and play. It's selling for close to two hundred dollars. I think I used to. I think I used to have the. Well, I used to have a Namco plug and play. It might be not. It might not be the one that that you're looking at right now. But I did have one at one time. But I got rid of it long before. Long before I ever knew I was going to be running a live stream. What a fool I was. I mean, Namco games are a little bit higher, are, are maybe a little bit higher quality than what I aim for anyway, so. <laughs> but I'd like to have it just to, you know, I, I wish I still had it just to have it. Pac-Man edition. I don't remember which one I had. I don't remember if it had Miss Pac-Man or not. It had, I think it had Pole Position and Dig Dug. I don't know if Pole Position is a is an Amco game. It had a racing game. Robbed. Robbed. I shot the slime and it didn't explode. I did it again. It just puts, it puts all the obstacles on the same side all the time. You'll get, you'll get a thousand of those spike balls on the left hand side and then one on the right, maybe. It makes me sick. This game makes me sick. At least it's not Jet Force Gemini, though. <laughs> Pole position, Galaga, Zebius, Mappy, and Miss Pac Man. Nah, that's not the one I had then.
I really like Miss Pac-Man. Miss, Miss Pac-Man is probably my favorite arcade machine. I'm not great at it or anything, but, uh... Well, here's the thing also. I don't really like arcade machines. I, uh... I always I, I I always prefer the console version of games. I don't like I don't like arcade joysticks. I like arcade buttons. I like the big clicky arcade buttons. They're a lot of fun, but I don't really like playing with a joystick. I like to play with a D-pad. Um so I, I'm not crazy about arcade machines. They're like they're works of art and they're interesting novelties, but I'd rather play the game at home on a console. Except Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man's real fun to play on the machine. I just want to scream curses at the sky when I play this. Favorite was Sinistar. Oh, Sinistar is scary. Beware, I live. Run, run. Sinistar is a scary game. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played a lot of Sinistar. Um I've never seen I've never seen a machine of it in real life. I've only I've played it I had it on a in a like arcade collection on some console. Maybe on the PlayStation two. I've only played a little bit of it. I should uh I should play more. It's a it's a good one. It's a good one. See the one on the right is so easy to take out because it never it never challenges us. There's never there's never any obstacles over here. All the obstacles are over there on the left. The the voice actor for Sinistar did the voice for Thou Art Dead in Monster in Monster House. We were talking about that game earlier tonight. I played that on the stream, Thou Art Dead. We did a we did a playthrough of the Monster House game. And uh the Thou Art Dead game that's included in it was my favorite part. I didn't know the Sinistar connection. That's pretty cool. Broken sound is driving me up the wall. <laughs> we've 
We've got to finish this collection soon, just because the broken sound is maddening. The cabinet you played was a full cockpit. Why? Why is it like this? I can get it to work if I hold the wire in a crazy uncomfortable position, but the moment I relax it breaks again. so angry. I'm so angry. There's no, there's just no doing this. It's too, it's too broken. It's too, it's too difficult. It's broken. This makes it too difficult.
next game, never Zergling. Gamers not play testing. Well, something something tells me something tells me that they didn't they didn't put a lot of time into uh, ensuring the quality of this product. No, there's, I don't think there's a score at all. Though, you do get an extra life every now and then, but I don't think that's based on score. I think that you just get one every so many levels. I got real lucky there that that bird didn't hit me. Miss the one, hit the other. How many hits does this one on the left take? Oh, and then I died from nothing. Wonderful. <sighs> At least it doesn't have horrible input delay. Well, you know, the thing about that is it's not re it's not exactly responsive. <laughs> it kind of does. It kind of does have uh, have bad input. We get to see level five again, remarkably. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was a pretty good run. That was a pretty good run. Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger. You recommend playing that one uh, Tuesday? I've heard of that game. You know what? I think I might own a copy of it. What uh, what platform though? Because I think that's on a couple of different things. I don't really have an official list of games recommended to me by people. I I write them down on post-it notes, but I've got like a thousand different post-it notes. It's probably a good idea to make a channel in the Discord for game recommendations. Because then someone could recommend the game and then other people could, could like, second it with via reactions or whatever. And that, like, that might be a good way to keep things, like, in my, on my radar. As long as, like, people don't get spoilery with their recommendations. That uh, seems like that could be a good idea. Pin the pin the rules at the top. Recommend a game. Tell me what genre it is, what platform it is, and up to three games it's similar to. <laughs> That'd be a good way to do it. I'm absolutely going to die, <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh, the, gar the gargoyles do have a rather, like, monkey-like look to their appearance. This game is so awful.
Just post a game on the Discord a couple hours ago, Nick says. It was a trailer. I did a TLDR since I knew you wouldn't watch it. <laughs> hey, thank you, next. Oh, I see Tuesday gave me another message too, but I it'll take me a moment to get to it. Oh, I'm dead. I can read it. Any platform, if you got a copy already, you could run with that. That said, it was re-released for the Switch. I think I remember hearing the release had some good quality of life fixes. All right, I was more, more concerned between whether I should play a console or the Game Boy Advance version because I think I think it's on both of those. So, like, when you say any any platform, like, those aren't going to be the same game. I just hit, I hit the wrong button there. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of a different game on the GBA. Fair enough. I'm probably thinking of a different game then. I think I might have it. I think I might have it on the PlayStation 2. Number two is on the GBA. How many times the spike balls spawns on the left? Uninterrupted. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, one over here. And what do you know? It's right back to the left. I don't know why there's such a higher probability of spawns on the left. 
are up to three in a row on the left hand side. But it's not just my imagination. <laughs> it all it spawns on the left with such higher frequency. It is outrageous. Hey, human. Thank you for the lurk. Hope you're having a fantastic uh, evening. I make no assurances on quality. Look at what's happening on the stream Tuesday. When have I ever cared about quality? Quality is an illusion. this game. Uh, I've got to go. I didn't realize how late it was. Uh, catch you on the next one. Hey, thank you, Prime Directive. It's been wonderful having you here. We should be around. Uh, we should be around both tomorrow and Friday night. So hopefully we'll we'll see you again real soon. But uh, sleep well. Have a uh, have a wonderful rest of your night and a fantastic tomorrow. We we'll only play the first few minutes. It didn't seem too bad from that. You'll know why I suggested it within the first five minutes. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, that's that does make me a little curious. Just covering my hide from when I recommended Hades, not making that mistake again. <laughs> I don't I don't hate Hades. I just don't love it. I don't regret playing it. I had I had good times with it. But it became too much by the end. And I don't and I don't like that style of game. I don't uh I don't feel the need to play any more roguelikes. Um, especially if they're, you know, RPG uh heavy like that. If they're really numbers I th I imagine all roguelikes are probably real numbers heavy like that. And so I, I really just don't need them. It's not a genre for me. I don't I don't like a game like that where the because that type of difficulty where it's all based on character numbers does not feel honest to me because when you start off you have such puny numbers and the enemies have such colossal numbers that the game is is functionally impossible at for a long time until you've just grinded your numbers higher and I don't like that, because like, uh, when you sit down with Castlevania on the NES, like no one is going to first try that game, but theoretically you could. You have, from the start, every everything that you need to beat Castlevania on your first attempt. If you are a genius at platformers. 
And so like that feel like that challenge feels honest to me in a way that numbers challenges don't. Except for the patience, Greg. Well, the patience is something I can bring to the table. So I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I got, I've got the patience already, so. <laughs> I grinded, I grinded up my patience stat off stream. <laughs> Have we really been doing the archer for an hour already? You can, but not I. I st I'll stick with the numbers games. You can have them, Greg. <laughs> I'm happy to. I'm happy to let you take those on for me. <laughs> All right. I think we're gonna be done with the archer for a while. We'll come back. We'll come back to it. But I need a break. We've already. We already played it for like an hour or two another night. So why don't we look at twin fish the archer does feel like it's theoretically beatable and we'll come back and give it some more time but for now let's look at a different one for a while oh it's a matching game right Hang on. What? Oh, I'm supposed... Am I supposed to be looking for the yellow fish? Oh, hang on. They're not all the same. Okay. Some of them have their eyes open. Some of their eyes closed. And we're trying to match the one down here. All right. I didn't understand the game. Let's restart. Right, and it tells me what I'm looking for down at the bottom. Okay. I understand this game now. What? That didn't match? I disagree. Uh-oh. It goes so fast, I can't tell what I'm looking for. The tails are different. Okay. I can't even see. I can't even see the full tail on the on the screen. It gets cut off by the by the edge of the thing. Does this game ever end? I don't, I don't seem to be making any progress. All 
I've gotten like a thousand correct in a row in a row now. I think you just play this one for the love of the sport. I wonder if this is supposed to be a two-player game. Let's see what happens when the time runs out. That timer is running forever. Maybe I have to get it wrong? Oh, the time only increments when we get it wrong. That's not a timer. That's not a t That hourglass is not time. That hourglass is number of attempts. All right. And when we fail, it doesn't even matter. It just keeps going. This one is definitely is a game. It's not a timer. It's a wronger. That's the time I have left until I die. That's the kind of hourglass I want then. I don't think the devs expect someone would play every game, Greg says. This game seems a little fishy, Zergling says. Well done. Very well done. Well, I guess, I mean, I think we're done with this game already. This one you just play for fun. I think those circles down at the bottom are supposed to fill in when you get it right to like be a point counter. And it's supposed to be like, I think it's supposed, I think this was made to be a competitive game. And the idea is like one side is the player one and one side is the player two. And every time you get one right, one of these circles is supposed to fill in. And the first person to get them all filled in would win. I think that's how this game started its development, but then it was just never finished. And it's put on a on a plug and play that doesn't have multiplayer capacity. But I, I think that was what they were going for when they started making this game. And it never got finished and they just threw it onto here. I'm just trying to see if anything different ever happens. I think the game is resetting every now and then. Hang on, let me reset it. Let me try and count. One. Two. Three. Four, 
five. And there, I think it reset because there was a flash of white. One. Oh, hang on. Oh, wrong. One. Two. Three. Four. So when I get this one correct, there should be a flash of white and the music will reset. Yep. So, so we beat it. <laughs> if we beat it, it just doesn't do anything. You just have to get five, you get five correct and it resets. <laughs> One minute game. Thank you for the trophies, cows. All right, well, well, we'll do the next game. Let me step away again. I know we just took a BRB, and I, I'm sorry to... Uh, oh, no, I broke it. Um, I need to step away for a, uh, a quick restroom break <laughs> before we continue. I'll, uh, I'll be back with you in just a moment. Oh, no, I, let me fix the cord real quick. I want to leave you some music while I'm going. I can't be so cruel as to leave everyone in silence. I can't fix it, and I need to step away. <laughs> I'll see you again in just a moment, my friends. Thank you for the GGs. And we're back. Thank you for letting me step away there. So that's... uh. Twin fish accomplished. Now this might be good. Oh, Jumping Kid. Is this a prequel to Jump King? Could we be so lucky? Are we going to get an origin story for my favorite game? This looks promising. I didn't want to watch the demo play. I don't want any spoilers. Look, two player option. Hang on, am I playing? I'm playing. There are two jump buttons. Jump over the frogs, not bad. Let's go. There's a smoking hot burrito at the top. I like these elephants. They're uh, they're very cute. I thought we had to time our jumps so we didn't get whacked with the elephant's trunk, but, uh... <laughs> it actually... it actually doesn't matter. <laughs> no! I hit the jump button! Rip the perfect run! There's no burrito, it's a chimichanga. <laughs> Very generous with the checkpoint. I accidentally... I accidentally walked under that rabbit <laughs> at the start. No! Okay, we've, I've got to... I need to exercise patience.
No, I tried to run for it. Oh, rip the first try. This is good. This is a good one. This is the see. This is the kind. These are the kind of things we want to find, and fifty video games included. This is way better than the Archer. <laughs> The game literally celebrates every successful jump. Uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of positive reinforcement we're getting. No! Ah, it's too hard. It's too hard to do jumps back to back. I figured I'd need the, the, the positivity after the archer. I certainly do. You think it's the same formula as the jumper? No, it's not. It's not because this is a fixed jump. We have a fixed jump arc in this game. In the archer, you have more mid-air control. Yeah, you can't you can't pull back from a jump in this one. Oh, there's the rhinoceros. We saw the rhinoceros on the title screen. We knew it was coming. Castle in the background is so satisfying, Cal says. It's so castle-y. Your winner. What's that, a ladybug? I don't know the mechanics of that obstacle. I don't understand how it behaves. The inverted background is very unusual looking. I think that's a porcupine. 
If you look closely, I can see needles coming out of it. I think it's a hedgehog. Alright, fair enough. Hedgehog, porcupine, they're the same thing, right? The castle goes to the same hat store as Jump King. <laughs> this is this is tricky right here. I can't. I can't wrap my head around the frog pattern. From the top. These frogs don't jump. Stage one frogs don't jump. No problem, just croak. A trick, a trick bunny? Silly rabbit. Tricks are for jumping kid. I feel like that was some rather bold gameplay. <laughs> uh, I was uh, approaching those those rhinos quite recklessly. <laughs> Like those palm trees, I like the way they look in the background with the uh, the blue fronds, the purple trunk. No, rip the deathless run. Timing there is tricky.
Okay, now we're back to our frog stage, back to our PB. I disagree. Ah, uh, that was foolish to go for that. <laughs> I admit that was foolish. Let's go. Stage 10. I thought that might have been the last stage, actually, so. No. Ooh, this is scary. This might actually be a very long game. <laughs> the the way things are iterating now, I I kind of have a suspicion that this game is going to go on for a hundred levels. <laughs> It is largely quite bearable, though, so... I'm having fun. Ninety eight levels, let's go, Cal says. <laughs> you joke, but I think you're also correct. Uh No. Okay, I got kind of lucky there. <sighs> that was scary.
Oh. No. Oh, no. I'm falling apart. Why did it get so hard right here? I came up against an insurmountable obstacle and I lost all my lives. I can't say I'm disappointed to be ending the night with this game. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to move on from this one. I I think <laughs> we've we've ended up in a much better place than we started out. And yes, this game is gonna take the rest of the night, but uh, at least it's a uh, at least it's one of the best ones in the collection. It is a very good game for what it is. It's got a lot of variety to it. Yeah, yeah, this is this is one of the best games in the collection. Makes sense, it is the prequel to Jump King. <laughs> I demand fireworks for every success I have, too. Is my character wearing a hat, or is it like a beehive haircut? I think, because I, I feel like it's, I feel, feel like it's like, uh, I feel like that's hair. I feel like that's, I feel like that's a, a hairdo. like here to me. That, that pair of frogs right there is super tricky.
there's part of this melody that plays that keeps that makes me I keep thinking it's gonna suddenly turn into Frere Jaca from the from the snowball puzzle game. <laughs> PB is level 16, I think. There's still four out from the obstacle that demolished me. scared me i haven't even been i haven't even thought to pay attention to the point counters here's a question can i uh did that work no, you can't, uh, I thought maybe I could, uh, thought maybe I could farm some points. They thought of everything. I didn't have trouble with this jump last time. Ah. Well, we're not going to tire PB on this round.
What was that you were saying about the rhinos being easy? Oh, the rhinos got the rhinos got me too. It wasn't just elephants. I got one life to uh, figure out how to how to do this jump that I missed before. Gotta thread the needle here. PB achieved, let's go. Yeah, but if I didn't figure it out on the first life, then I, there's not a, I don't think there's a zero life. So I would, uh, I only had one life to waste. start. predict we're gonna run into birds next i think we i think we've probably seen all the animals the game has to offer sadly i would love to see i would love to see more but i kind of think kind of think we exhausted the uh the enemy stock i think it's just gonna be iterations on the theme now True, but I was expecting the rhinos because they're on the title screen. We'll see.
Wish you the best with Jump Kid. I've got to be heading up to bed, Cow says. Good night, cows. Always great to have you with us. I hope that you sleep very well, my friend, and have a wonderful tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow night for uh, Darkwing Duck. I think that's what we're going to focus on. Maybe some Jump King, depending on how that goes, but probably just Darkwing Duck. Thank you for the good luck wishes as well. I hope we can, uh, I don't know. I, ho I kind of hope we make it through this. I mean, I would like to beat it, but I don't want to wish for it to be too, well, I don't know. I hope we beat this. I hope there's only like 20 levels. I have a feeling there's a lot more than that. Let's get dangerous, yeah. Yeah, this is still 50 video games included, Greg. This uh this one is actually this one is actually pretty good. It's just uh, you know, it's a pretty it's a really basic platformer, but for what it is, it's really good. This is one of this is one of the best games in the collection, I have declared. Looks like an NES game. I like it already. Yeah, yeah. This is this is closer in appearance to an actual game than a lot of them are. I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this one. Lucky 13. I thought that frog had me.
Hey, Big Evil, welcome in. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the raid. Very much appreciated. Welcome to Jumping Kid on fifty video games included. Let's see if I can give you a shout out real quick. Hopefully the game won't crash. Playing a WWE game tonight. Right on. My wrestling experience is limited to WCW versus NWO on Nintendo 64. And pro wrestling on the NES. <laughs> I think that's uh, I think that's all I've got in my in my bank of experience. New game day, right on. Hopefully it was uh, satisfactory. So far, it's been pretty great. Right on. We have found a pretty spectacular game ourselves. I actually, I'm actually really enjoying this game. It's super, it's super simplistic, right? But it's, uh, it's actually rather engaging and uh, shockingly difficult in places, but not, not for terrible reasons. This stage, this stage does have one very difficult jump, though. I'm, uh, I'm nervous about this stage. That's a difficult jump, too. I should have been nervous about it as well. I mean, I was when I saw it, but I forgot it existed. Right here. This is the this is a tricky one. Uh, it's so narrow. The safe spot where you can stand is so narrow. I think this stage is my PB. Eyelashes is bent. It's driving me crazy. Please don't hit me. Whoa, that was scary.
Let's go. New stage. Here we come. 18. The game is kind of looping at this point. We're getting the same types of stages over and over again, but I don't I don't think they've been identical yet. Well, that pair of elephants there makes me think that maybe they're becoming identical. <laughs> that's a very that's a very familiar obstacle. Since I lost a thousand lives to it earlier. Oh no, there's there's two of them on this stage. Okay, never mind. It's not it's not repeating yet. Oh, I gotta go. Thought I messed that jump up. Oh, no. Okay, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as it looks. There's so many of this pairing. <laughs> I didn't want to see it. I didn't want there to be a stage 21, but alas. I think that's our first death. Rip the deathless run. We were doing great. We were doing great for a while.
I was thinking if the game ended real soon, I, I had been thinking if it ended real soon, I was gonna commit to a deathless run, but <laughs> I think there are too many. I think there are too many stages. If there were like 20 or less, I would have been okay, but I'm not going to try and do a deathless run of 98 stages. <laughs> uh... That stage was actually real easy. The difficulty went backward with that stage. I jumped, it ate my input. Robbed. This looks this looks worse than the other one of these. Okay. Let's see. Made it to the spirit temple. Automatically thought of Ocarina of Time. The spirit temple in Ocarina of Time Master Quest is so crazy difficult. I had a I had a really hard I had a really hard time with that temple in that in that game. End victory! Hey, we did it. There are twenty five stages. There's only twenty five stages. You know what? Twenty five stages. We might could go for a deathless run of this game. Only made it that far in Master Quest once. I remember very little about it, actually, Greg says. It's rough. Master Quest is really challenging. <laughs> Frowny turns a fun game and well-earned victory into a nightmare. Well, I mean, maybe not right away. That was fun. This was a good game. I feel like we should quit while we're ahead. What's the menu look like? Wild Worm, Goalkeeper, Teleport, Vigilant, and Cub Adventure. So we got five games left. I think we'll call it there. All right, we suffered with the Archer. Twin Fish is broken and not a real game. Jumping Kid was amazing. I think that's a good place to wrap the stream for tonight, my friends. It's been a good time. 
Don't want to at least see Wild Worm. Uh, no, we'll keep it a secret. We'll keep it a secret. I am curious about it, but uh, that'll give us something to look forward to. Entice me to uh, pick 50 video games included up again sooner. Maybe we'll play some more next week. I'll try to. I'll try to to think to put it on the schedule next week. That game was uh, that game was a lot of fun, and that's got me. Uh, that's renewed some of my. Uh, enthusiasm. See you tomorrow for some. Yeah, we're going to play Darkwing Duck tomorrow night. My heart is wild with excitement, Zergling says. <laughs> hold on to that excitement, my friend. Uh, just hold on to it. So I uh, should be back uh, tomorrow and Friday night. Planning to stream both nights. Tomorrow we're going to try Darkwing Duck on the NES. I've never played it before. Uh, we're going to try and start up around 11 p.m. I've been I've been showing up a little late most nights, so probably be a little late tomorrow. We'll see. I actually might make it on time tomorrow. Fingers crossed. My schedule tomorrow is a little bit different, so. There's actually a chance to might be a little early. But we'll see. 11.30 or 11 p.m. Give or take. Keep an eye on the Discord for more accurate times. I'll let you know a couple hours out uh, what it's going to look like. And, Well, I'm doing exactly that, Zergling, but with a different streamer. <laughs> we'll definitely, we'll definitely drop, we'll definitely drop it on Mister Suffer. Uh, uh, I he's he's frequently streaming when we wrap, so we'll have lots of opportunities. But I'm actually returning a different raid from last night. I'm gonna send this in the direction of Brybad, playing Alfred Chicken, learning the speed run of Alfred Chicken on the Game Boy. Um, so yeah, 11 p.m. Central Time, give or take, tomorrow and Friday, tomorrow night, Darkwing Duck, maybe Jump King, if Darkwing, if we finish Darkwing Duck with time left over, we'll see, I don't know how that game's gonna go at all, since I've never played it, gonna do it blind, see what it's like, hopefully I have a good time, and then, uh, Jet Force Gemini, unfortunately, on Friday, <laughs> We will we'll try to finish up the mini games in Jet Force Gemini on Friday. I'll prioritize that, and then we'll probably spend one more night wandering blind in that game. And then I think I'm gonna have to get some help to find the last two collectibles. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find them on my own, but we'll see. Mini games, one more night of wandering, and then maybe I'll throw in the towel on uh, that one. We'll see. It's been a good night, my friends. Thank you for being here with me. I really enjoyed your company, and I hope I get to see you again real soon. But uh, as for tonight, we're all out of stuff to do. It's time to head out. Let's go on an adventure.